Microsoft has big plans for next generation. On top of putting out their powerful hardware like the Xbox Series X with its 12 teraflops of power, they are also putting a heavy emphasis on subscription, namely the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription model that sees players pay $15 for a pretty solid package involving Xbox Live Gold access, xCloud Now, and of course, a library of games that you can download to your Series X or to your PC or play on the cloud with the xCloud implementation that is coming soon. It feels like a marriage of all of these different elements rather than trying to have these different facets compete with each other. It feels like the best of many worlds. And I specifically want to talk about xCloud because this is a service that has been in preview for a while, which meant that people could sign up and they may have gotten an invitation to preview this service and see how it worked for them and provide feedback. While all of that is ending, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is now going public beta. On September 15th, 2020, anyone who has Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will have access to this service, and it puts Stadia in that much more danger of being irrelevant. So let's take a look at this blog post that Xbox published on their official website on August 4th, 2020. The headline reads, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate delivers 100 plus games directly to your mobile device beginning September 15th. And here's sort of what they had to say about their vision for Project X Cloud and their implementation of it. It reads right here, our vision for Project X Cloud, Microsoft's cloud gaming technology, is to give you the opportunity to play the games you want with the people you want, anywhere you want. Since launching the public preview across North America, Europe, and in South Korea, you have shared stories about the unique ways you have played from the cloud while providing invaluable feedback that helped us improve the experience. Cloud gaming as part of Xbox Game Pass is the next major step in our ongoing vision to put you at the center of the experience, to give you more value from your games and membership, and to remove the barriers from play. Last month, we laid out our commitment to you and announced cloud gaming, powered by Project X Cloud, will be a part of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate at no additional cost. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate always costs $15, it'll still cost $15, and now you have the added benefit of xCloud. The value only got better. With the marriage of both local gaming hardware and cloud gaming, you don't have to choose one or the other. You've got both. The article continues, Today we're excited to share more about what you can expect. Beginning September 15th, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members can play more than 100 games from the cloud on their Android phone or tablet. Cloud Gaming will launch in beta for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members in 22 markets to ensure stability as we scale the feature to millions of gamers. So this is a significantly larger endeavor than the preview. We are talking about a public beta that millions will have access to. And I really have to emphasize what it means for a cloud service like this to launch with a hundred games that support the feature, especially when you consider that xCloud's biggest competitor, Stadia, currently only has roughly 50 games available for purchase. They're not all accessible. There are a few games that are being added to a free library if you're a Stadia Pro member, but for the most part, you have to purchase these games individually at full price, and the library of games currently is pretty pathetic, roughly 50 games. xCloud is still in beta, and it has 100 games already set to go, and many of them are exclusive first-party titles, and many more first-party exclusives are coming to xCloud as next-gen looms on the horizon. The proposition here is already insanely better than Stadia, which has been out for almost a year, whereas xCloud is taking its time with preview, getting feedback, and now with the beta, they're really starting to ramp up the service and uh, its accessibility. Right here, it lists that among the 100 high quality games playable from the cloud include Minecraft Dungeons, Destiny 2, Tell Me Why, Gears 5, Yakuza Kiwami 2, and more. And if we scroll up here and take a look at this screenshot, you can see other titles that will be supported, including Halo Master Chief Collection, uh, Hellblade, Wasteland, you name it, Quantum Break, all of these titles that you know, have garnered relatively positive impressions. Ori, 
Uh, and these are games that are desirable that people would pay $15 a month for to gain access to all of these, both again in local hardware or on the cloud. And all of this is part of the Xbox ecosystem. All of your saves, achievements, everything will transfer over because this is an account-wide thing. So it reads right here, all of the experiences you expect on Xbox and your gaming profile travel with you on mobile, including your friends list, achievements, controller settings, and saved game progress. So even if you don't own an Xbox and are only engaging via the cloud, you're still able to interact with people who are playing on Xbox One or Series X. And with certain games, you know, there's cross play with PC and the like. So all of this just interacts in a very seamless way as part of one ecosystem. And that is a huge strong point of Microsoft's endeavors, where Stadia, it's just the cloud with no other option and you're paying full price for cloud only games for games you're accessing rather than you know games that you can download and game pass right now is thriving with microsoft confirming that more than 10 million xbox game pass members are already discovering and playing great games on console and pc and with the addition of cloud gaming members can discover and try out new games on android phones and tablets given game pass hasn't been around for that long these are impressive figures and with game pass being at the forefront of microsoft's next gen endeavors with them pushing the service further and marketing it further and providing greater value with the addition of games and different extra services like xCloud now. Uh, the subscription numbers are only bound to grow. Game Pass, it feels like it continues to make headlines, it continues to draw positive attention, all for a pretty reasonable price of $15 a month, and the first month is just a dollar, so you can just try it out, and if it's not your thing, guess what? It's optional, but uh, for many people out there who maybe can't afford to pay $60 for every game, but do play a lot of games and enjoy the library of games that Game Pass Ultimate offers, they have that option. Whether you're a fan of traditional game purchases or this more subscription-based service, like there's something here that everyone can partake in. And you can see right here, judging by the very positive likes to dislikes ratio on the YouTube video that highlights Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and how xCloud is coming to it on September 15th. Yeah, people are loving this. And there are a lot of people who are conscious that Stadia exists and that xCloud poses a legitimate threat to the service with comments like, imagine people who paid for Stadia watching this LOL, or they really had to just eviscerate Stadia in front of us like that. One of the most upvoted comments literally just says, RIP Stadia. And on top of that, people are expressing genuine interest in partaking in this service because it isn't forcing the cloud, but rather it's a supplement to the gaming experience that people already have. And in this trailer right here, you can see all of the different ways that you can partake with Xbox, Game Pass Ultimate, and xCloud, a number of mobile devices and controllers and uh, different combinations of you know tablets and uh, ways to uh, prop those up with a controller that allows you to game on the go, assuming that you have a solid internet connection. And that really is the issue of cloud gaming right now. The lack of a proper internet infrastructure for most people to be able to stably utilize cloud gaming. But again, the fact that this is an extra thing on top of uh, everything else that Xbox already offers with more traditional forms of gaming is what makes this appealing where Stadia, because it's solely confined to the cloud, you have no choice but to live with all of the issues. If you have troubles with Stadia, your whole gaming experience on that platform is ruined. Whereas on Xbox, if you know there's a scenario where cloud isn't working for you, guess what? You can still download games on PC and Xbox and enjoy them that way. Meanwhile, Stadia continues to struggle. While Google hasn't revealed official figures yet, you can see from Stadia's listing in the Google Play Store that it has recently surpassed 1 million installs. And this is an app that you do need in order to activate Stadia and in order to engage with this platform. So this gives you a good indication for how many people actually partook in Stadia, subscribed to it, or bought the Founders Edition. And many of these installs, no question, come from people who either installed the app on different devices or people who got Stadia for free because of friend passes that Google kept giving away or other forms of giveaways that 
uh, Google engaged in before the free base version was available. With the release of the base version, no doubt that helped bolster numbers. But the fact that almost a year after launch, we are only at, you know, maybe a million or so installs, that's not a good figure at all. And the fact that Google continues to give out Stadia Pro subscriptions is further indication that numbers are not where they should be. Otherwise, they wouldn't be giving these out willy nilly like this. So right here is an article from Engadget from a few days ago talking about how Chromebook users are getting three free months of Stadia Pro. This is on top of many other giveaways of Stadia Pro subscriptions that Google has done over the past year or so. I have yet to see Microsoft feeling the need to give out free Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions. They did do, you know, uh, xCloud previews for free, but that was mainly because it was an unfinished product that they were testing by having other people engage with the service and provide feedback. That's obviously very different. But now with xCloud going to Game Pass and with Game Pass being at over 10 million subscribers, they're in a pretty good place right now and they're thinking long term. And from what I've seen, Microsoft hasn't felt the need to give out Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions. They seem to be satisfied with the current numbers and the fact that numbers are probably going to continue to grow as people continue to see the value that this offers, especially compared to the clearly inferior Stadia, whose business model has been and will continue to be its Achilles heel unless Google overhauls how Stadia works. People having to pay full price for cloud-only games is simply ridiculous, especially when you've got Xbox now offering a true Netflix of games service. I honestly believe that if Stadia doesn't react quickly and really find a way to bolster their service by offering a better business model and actually offering some compelling first-party titles, they are as good as buried by this. Stadia's progress has just been so slow. The rollout of games has been painfully slow as well. Whereas xCloud and Game Pass just seem to have this incredible momentum, both in terms of the positive PR, the games that they keep adding for it. And now with xCloud being open to the public as of September 15th, so a little over a month from now, I mean, that's going to take Game Pass to a whole new level. It's going to really take xCloud to a whole new stratosphere and Stadia will struggle and lag behind. So yeah, that's my take on the current state of Game Pass and xCloud and Microsoft's uh, plans coming to fruition on both these fronts. Let me know in the comments below what your take is on Game Pass Ultimate as it is right now and whether you plan to uh, try xCloud out and how you think that compares to how Stadia is doing currently. Drop a comment below and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.